Hi there, it's Mark from Mark My Words. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is focusing on rebuilding you. Yes, no, not those around you, you. What it takes, what it takes to go from being absolutely flattened, right? And, you know, down and out on the canvas, flattened. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, in every area of your life absolutely on the canvas, right? To go from that place to getting back to where you belong, getting back to where you were born to be, getting back to where your best version of you is on autopilot, okay? So it's a transition. It's a long way. It's a long journey. It can feel like a long journey, but Today I'm going to talk about a couple of key things that you need to get a hold of to rebuild you. Let me first start out by saying that on this channel, we have a broad uh, church, if you like, of belief systems. Okay, Some of us don't believe in anything other than ourselves. We believe, some of us believe in evolution, some believe in God, some believe in God of the Bible, some believe in God of the Quran, some believe in um, uh, God of uh, whatever, okay? It, look, at the end of the day, I'm not talking to you and preaching to you today about God of anything. But what I am saying to you is this, that ultimately for you to get back to where you're meant to be and to fulfill your God-given purpose on the planet, and to, by that I mean, you know, be the best version of you that you can be, to maximize your God-given potential. It feels like a long way, particularly if you're currently sitting right now in a knocked-out place, okay? As I said, emotionally, physically, financially. I was there. I've, I've been there. I know what it's like to have uh, a life which, on the surface, feels good, looks good, smells good, you know, financially doing okay, got, got wife, got kids, Got big house, got cars, got all that, right? Relatively confident in my own ability to then go from there to being flattened. No wife, no kids, no money, no house. <laughs> Living in my parents' rundown farm cottage because I couldn't afford to live anywhere else. Um, and not only that, lost my confidence, right? So how do you get back to where you're meant to be? So today's quick couple of tips here that I think and I believe this will add value to you and your comeback journey. So what do you believe about who you are? Can I just cut to the chase right here? Because I think there's a lot of fluff out there right now about how to how to get a positive self-image, how to how to be the best version of you. Ultimately, what you think of you is very important, but it can go deeper than that, right? Now for me, I I have a belief in God, right? You have a belief in whatever you believe. Okay, it could be God of the Bible, it could be God of something else, right? But regardless of where our belief system's anchored, ultimately what I had to do was hang on to what a source of truth said about who I was. And I had to then transform my thinking to line up with what that truth said and change my thinking from, and so it became a conscious belief system to a subconscious belief system. So it became a part of my, this truth became part of who I was. And that then outworked itself in every area of my life, my faith, my family, my fitness, my finance, and my fun, the five big key areas of life. They can do the same for you too. So I want to encourage you today to dig deep, to dig deep to know that it's not just a conscious belief, positive mental attitude mindset that you need to ultimately make a mighty comeback in your life, but it needs to go from here and go deeper down to here. It becomes a condition of your heart. So if I was to say to you, you were born with a seed of greatness in you, that you are created by a loving creator who wants the best for you and who is on your side. If I was to say to you that your best days are ahead 
and your best version of yourself has yet to be shown to the world. And in fact, you're running at about 10% of your potential and have done for all your life. If I was to say to you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, if I was to say to you that there's not another person like you on the planet, you are unique, there's no, there's no replica anywhere, you are the one and only version of you, and you're on the planet for a divine purpose, for a specific purpose, ultimately to add value to those in your world who you love and the broader broader humanity okay now from where you're at right now you might feel like this is just you know hocus pocus but it is the truth and i want to encourage you today that if all you know is all you know and all i knew was all i knew when i was flattened <laughs> at 42 years of age flattened knockout punch this was my circle of knowledge everything i knew was inside that circle, okay? What I needed to know to get to back where I am today, where I've rebuilt mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, remarried, got a little 20-month-old daughter on top of the other three older children that I have, own our own home, got a thriving business, um, helping people, adding value to people's lives. I'm not gonna talk about my story too much on this video, but what I had to learn to get to that place where I'm at today, from where I was at back in 2010, absolutely KO'd. I had to learn some some information and beliefs and truths which were outside of my circle of knowledge. So this is this this circle here represents what you know currently of all the things that you know right now. This circle here represents everything there is to know. Okay? Which is obviously what we know, what I know, is a finite amount compared to what there is to know in the universe, right? All I had to do was recognize that what I know is what I know, and what I need to know is what I know, what I know is what I know is in here right now. What I need to know to get to where I want to be and where I need to be and what I'm meant to be doing, right? And and get resurrect and get back on where I need to be to make a mighty comeback in my life, just like you, you can make a mighty comeback in your life. You have to realize and get the revelation that what you know is inside the circle, this one. What you need to know is outside what you know, and it's in this circle out here. It's out here somewhere. So humility needs to kick in and go, you know what, I need to, new, I didn't, I need to learn some things here. I, 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 clearly what I'm learning or what I know is not working too well for me right now. Okay? I don't mean that to be condescending. I just mean it to know that I want you to know that you know you have to get to a point where you realize that where I'm at is where I'm at, but where I need to be is out here. I haven't learned that yet because if I knew it, I'd, I'd be there. Does that make sense? So I want to encourage you today to understand that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are born, you were born on whatever date of birth your date of birth is, the minute you were born on that day was not a minute too early or a minute too late, okay? It was perfect timing in the bigger universal, in God's economy, perfect timing. And it was for a purpose. It wasn't, you weren't a mistake, all right? Regardless of how you were conceived, you weren't a mistake. You're already a winner because <laughs> that little, you know, seed of, 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 of uh, that sperm, that, you know, millions of sperm that went up your father's tubes, right? And and got you outswam a million sperm to get here, right? We know you're a winner already, okay? But the point is that's, I know it's fun, and that's scientifically true right there. But um, your best days are ahead, okay? And just, can I just challenge you on this video today to, to be thirsty for knowledge, to be thirsty for new revelation about who you are as a human being, right? You're not just another you know, um, person on the planet converting, you know, um, oxygen into CO2, right? Live for three score years and 10, about 70 years, and then you're not, you know, you've forgotten about, it, okay? Your life has much more purpose than that. And I want to encourage you today to get, to begin a quest of knowledge of thirst to discover who you really are, discover why you're really here, and discover that 
you know what? It doesn't matter what I've done in the past. It doesn't matter what setbacks I've had in the past. It doesn't matter what mistakes I've made in the past. I need to rule off and put that back where, where it is, right? And focus on my future and start to, to become all that I've meant to be, become all that I've created, I am created to become. You know, I need to get started to get rid of these eliminating thoughts out of my mind. You know, these thoughts and these conditions and these belief systems that were put there by other people in my past who had influence over me, my teacher, you know, my parents, my all good people. But I had to go on a quest of knowledge to know who I really was. And for me, that was anchored in a source of truth, right? A 2000 year old book, which is still the number one bestseller today. And in that book, it was very clear and very powerful about who I am, what I am, and what I'm called to do. And it's the same book that has a lot to say about you as well. But regardless of whatever source of absolute truth you believe is true, begin the quest of knowledge. Because I can tell you, it is where your future lies and it's who you're called to become. And that's why I can stand here today and say, hey, you know what? Your best days are ahead. Providing you can get your, your learning educational information that you need to adopt as who you are as truth, right? And to begin to walk in it and recognize that all you know is all you know. What you need to know is out here, okay? Hey, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Check out my other videos on the channel and make sure that you know that your best days are ahead. There's a heap of great content in the descriptions panel below. Click on the links I'll put in there and they'll help you begin the journey to make a mighty comeback in your life. Bless you.